To change the engine oil and filter on your Razer Turbo R, follow these steps. For optimal performance, always use Polaris recommended fluids as described in your owner's manual. Park the vehicle on a flat level surface in a well ventilated area and ensure the transmission is in park. Then, start the engine, allow it to warm up at idle for two to three minutes, and stop the engine. Next, remove and retain the four cargo box panel fasteners. This can be done with the Torx wrench included in your toolkit. Then, pivot the panel out and set aside. Continue by carefully cleaning the area around the oil cap. Then, remove the oil cap and set it aside. Next, place a drain pan under the engine crankcase. Placing a rag in the bottom of the drain pan will help prevent the splashing of oil. Then, clean the area around the oil drain plug. Remove the drain plug and allow the oil to drain completely. Next, move to the driver's rear wheel well and clean around the oil filter. Then, position a shop towel underneath the oil filter to catch spillage. Continue by turning the oil filter counterclockwise to remove. Using a clean dry cloth, clean the filter sealing surface on the crankcase and ensure the old o-ring is completely removed. Then, lubricate the o-ring on the new filter with a film of fresh engine oil and ensure it is in good condition. Then, install the new filter and rotate it clockwise by hand until the filter gasket contacts the sealing surface. Then, turn it an additional three quarters of a turn. Once the filter is installed, wipe up any residual oil. Ensure there are no shop towels left on the engine. Next, clean any dirt or debris from the drain plug and ensure the sealing surfaces are free of any burrs, nicks, or scratches. Also, remove the old sealing washer and install a new one on the drain plug. Then, reinstall the drain plug and torque to specification. Before continuing, clean any residual oil off the vehicle. Next, add the proper amount of the recommended oil through the oil fill cap. Do not overfill. Then, reinstall the oil fill cap and wipe up any residual oil. Next, start the engine and allow it to idle for 30 seconds. Then, stop the engine and wait 3 minutes to allow the oil to drain back into the crankcase. While waiting, inspect the engine for any leaks. Next, remove the dipstick and wipe with a clean shop rag. Then, reinstall the dipstick fully and remove again to inspect the oil level. Add oil as needed to bring the level to the upper mark on the dipstick. Reinstall the dipstick and wipe up any residual oil. Next, pivot the cargo box panel back into place and reinstall the four panel fasteners. Then, torque the fasteners to specification. Before continuing, dispose of the used oil and filter properly at your local recycling center. Next, use a grease gun to grease all suspension grease zerks. Your vehicle has grease zerks located on the rear stabilizer bar bushings and on the center joint of the prop shaft. On multi-passenger vehicles, there will be an additional grease zerk on the center prop shaft. Next, move to the rear of the vehicle to clean the spark arrester. 
Allow the vehicle to cool completely before performing any spark arrestor maintenance. Begin by removing the spark arrestor fastener. Then carefully pull the spark arrestor out of the exhaust. Inspect the screen for wear or damage. Replace if necessary. Then reinstall the spark arrestor into the exhaust and align the mounting hole. Reinstall the spark arrestor fastener and torque to specification. Once complete, the maintenance reminder can be reset in the instrument cluster. To do this, turn the ignition switch on. Then press and hold the mode button to enter the options menu. Navigate to remaining service hours and press the mode button to reset them. Using the directional arrows, select your desired service hours until the next service and press the mode button to confirm. Then navigate to exit and press the mode button to return to the main screen. The maintenance reminder can also be adjusted and reset in the ride command screen. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.